Welcome to How To. Today, you're going to learn how to solve a quizzle. This is what a quizzle looks like. It has three main parts. There's a story at the top that sets the problem. There are a set of clues, and then there's a grid. First, you start by reading the story. This one says, Eric, Bernard, Bart, Sydney and Ralph have dogs named, in no particular order, Bowser, Fido, Rover, Snoopy, and Spot. These five dogs are, again in no particular order, a Poodle, a Basset, a Terrier, a Spaniel, and a Collie. From the clues given, try to determine the name and the breed of each boy's dog. So you'll see that the grid matches the story. You have the list of all the boys' names that own the dogs, you have the breeds of the dogs, and you have the names of the dogs. You'll notice also down here there are more names of dogs. That helps you solve the puzzle and we'll see how that works in a moment. So I always start by just reading the clues through. So the first one says no dog's name begins with the same letter as that of his master. No dog's name begins with the same letter as that of his master. So they're specifically talking about the dog names, not the breeds. So Eric can't have a dog whose name starts with E. Well, there are no names that start with E, so that doesn't really have any relevance. Bernard can't have a dog whose name starts with B which means he can't own Bowser. Bart's name also starts with B, which means he can't own Bowser. Sydney's name starts with an S, so Sydney can't have Snoopy or Spot. And Ralph starts with an R, which means he can't have Rover. Now there's really nothing else to that clue that we need to worry about, so let's go to number two. Rover is not Bart or Sydney's dog. That's pretty straightforward. Bart can't own Rover, and Sydney can't own Rover. Clue number three. Spot's master and the owner of the Spaniel both have names beginning with the same letter. So the only boys who have names beginning with the same letter are Bernard and Bart. So one of them is Spot's master and one of them is the owner of the Spaniel. So that helps us in a couple of ways. Spot needs a master. It's going to have to be Bernard or Bart. We don't know which one, but we know it's not Eric and we know it's not Ralph. The Spaniel also needs a master, and it's going to have to be Bernard or Bart, which means it can't be Eric, it can't be Sydney, and it can't be Ralph. That clue tells us something else, because in the sentence they're talking about two different dogs, Spot and the Spaniel. Those are two different dogs, which means the Spaniel can't be Spot. So I go over here to the Spaniel column and I go all the way down to Spot's name down here and where they meet, the Spaniel can't be Spot. Clue number four, neither Eric's dog nor Bernard's dog is the Basset, nor is Snoopy. So we know that Eric doesn't have the Basset. And we know Bernard doesn't have the Basset. And again, they're talking about two different dogs that can't be named Snoopy. So Eric can't have Snoopy and Bernard can't have Snoopy. And they mention the Basset and Snoopy in the same sentence. So that means that the Basset can't be named Snoopy. Clue number five, 
Bart's dog and the collie are not called Spot or Snoopy. So Bart doesn't get to have Spot or Snoopy. So I'm gonna go from Bart over here. He can't have Spot and he can't have Snoopy. It also says Bart's dog and the collie. So that means Bart can't own the collie because that's a different dog than Bart's dog. So Bart doesn't get the collie. We also know that in the sentence they're talking about the collie and Spot and Snoopy as if they're all different dogs, which means the collie can't be Spot or Snoopy. And our final clue is Ralph's dog is not a terrier. So I'm gonna to go to Ralph and slide over to terrier. So Ralph cannot have the terrier. Now we've gone through all the clues once, but we obviously don't have it solved. We're gonna to have to go through the clues again. The first clue, no dog's name begins with the same letter as that of his master. There's nothing else we can really get from that. The second clue, Rover is not Bart or Sydney's dog. There's really not anything we can get from that. But the third clue says Spot's master and the owner of the Spaniel both have names beginning with the same letter. So if we look over here, Spot's master, oh my gosh, we have an X here, an X here, an X here, and an X here. That means we know Spot's master has to be this one. I fill it in with a nice big heavy dot. A lot of people will fill it in with a smiley face or a star, that's up to you. And if that is Spot's master, then Bernard owns Spot, which means Bernard can't have Fido and he can't have Rover. And if we finish out this clue, it says Spot's master and the owner of the Spaniel both have names beginning with the same letter. So if Spot's master is Bernard, the other person with the same letter is Bart, that means Bart has to have the spaniel. So I'm gonna fill that in. And if Bart gets the spaniel, Bernard doesn't get the spaniel. And if Bart has the spaniel, he doesn't get the terrier, the basset, or the poodle. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something else that shows up. Like right here in this column for Snoopy, we have an X by Eric, Bernard, Bart, and Sydney. That means Snoopy must be owned by Ralph. And if Ralph owns Snoopy, he doesn't get to have Fido or Bowser. And look at this, under Rover, we have four X's, which means Rover can only belong to Eric. It's the only available space, which means Eric can't have Fido or Bowser. And I bet you see it now, Bowser has four X's that means Sydney is the only person who can own Bowser. So we're gonna cross that out. And now we know one whole section. Well, how does that help us? Well, now we're gonna do something I call cross-referencing. For example, I can see that Bart owns the Spaniel named Fido. Well, if the Spaniel is named Fido, then we have to make the Spaniel be named Fido down here. So I'm gonna fill that in. And if the Spaniel's Fido, he's not Bowser or Rover or Snoopy. And if Fido's the Spaniel, he's not the Poodle or the Basset or the Terrier or the Collie. All right, now here's another piece of the way the cross-referencing works. Rover is owned by Eric, but Eric doesn't have the Basset or the Spaniel, so that means the Basset can't be Rover, and the Spaniel already wasn't Rover. Bernard owns Spot, he doesn't have the Basset or the Spaniel, so the Basset can't be Spot, and the Spaniel already wasn't Spot. But now look what happened. We got four in a row down here. The Basset can't be Fido, Rover, Snoopy, or Spot, so this must be the Basset. Bowser is the Basset. And if Bowser's the Basset, he is none of these other dogs. Oh, and look what happened. The Collie can only be one dog and that's Rover. So we're gonna cross that out. Now, if the Collie is Rover, 
we know who owns Rover. It's Eric. Eric owns Rover. And if the Rover is the Collie, then we know Eric owns the Collie. So we're going to fill that in, do all the Xing out we need to do. All right. And we also learned something else down here. Bassett, the Bassett is Bowser. So here's Bowser. He's owned by Sydney, which means Sydney must own the Bassett. So I'm going to X everything out. Oh, and look at this. Ralph has four X's, which means Ralph owns the poodle. And the poodle must be named Snoopy. So the poodle becomes Snoopy down here. Which means there's only one thing left. The terrier has to be Spot. And Bernard owns Spot, so Bernard gets the terrier. And you have now completed your first quizzle. That's all there is to it. I've uploaded a whole bunch of quizzles onto Schoology. Have fun!